touch issues. Hey Ben, what are you doing? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's three up there. The water orbs? Oh, look how fast they're growing. How big will they get? Uh, these ones, I'm not sure. The last ones we got, um, they got to marble size from, oh, really? from this, but these are supposed to get even bigger. Okay, those boobly balls are taking too long to time lapse, so we'll, we'll come back later. They get huge, apparently, but um, whatever. They're for Ben. Uh, you know, if you know where I live, don't just come over and, and steal my beer, because I've just got it sitting out here. Uh, let's, what time is it? It's two-ish. Nice nitro coffee stout. Sam Adams started making nitro coffee stout. Guys, what's the deal with nitro? Nitro is not carbonation, right? It's a, it's another gas. It's what makes Guinness like floaty. Gives it that cascade action. Let's put this in a cup so I can show you what it looks like. Okay, so that's the milk stout, Sam Adams Nitro Milk Stout. Oh, it's so much better. So much better than Guinness. Oh, I forgot I gotta go to the meeting. Yep, I know. I didn't forget you gotta go to the meeting. And that's what I was gonna talk to you guys about. Today's Sunday, which is uh, Leia's family meeting day, which means I pretty much get the house to myself. But uh, I was, I also learned that we have like a camp out coming up soon. <laughs> And so I'm gonna break out my ham radio, my uh, QRP radio, make sure my batteries are charged, all ready to go, because I gotta take that. It's for the kids, kids are gonna be there. So what better idea than to throw a, it's gonna be out in the yard with a large tree, what better idea to throw a antenna up in the tree and set up a little uh, radio session, kind of for the kids to get an idea of what radio is. I may even bring my laptop and do some packet radio. I can go to my garage from inside my house. House. These boobly balls, right? Pretty big, right? This is what they started out as. Pretty cool. My little box here. It's a Pelican box. What is this? A eleven fifty, and in it I keep my my LD five. This is a what they call a QRP radio. It operates on a couple different bands, most of the popular ones. In the little compartment next to it, I keep a series of adapters. This is the power adapter. Uh, this is a splitter that goes from the output of the radio's audio, its auxiliary audio, to a two-channel output. And what I use that for is for interfacing with this USB sound card for doing packet radio. I also have just a nicer single um, stereo mono jack which I also use for packet radio. All right, so what's my plan? Let me get my, my fancy stick. So here's my fancy stick. Sorry if I'm horribly backlit right now. I'm gonna take my end of the antenna, clip it onto the top like that, okay? And I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna strap it up against this uh, wooden structure that we used to put uh, Christmas lights up against. Let me do that now and show you what it looks like. Okay, so I've got the stick mounted right there, which is gonna string across here, and then I'm gonna drag it into the guest room. Okay, then connect the radio. Hey! Line in, line out is what I'm gonna connect my, my laptop to. Phone is earphones, mic, and then key is if you wanted to connect a uh, CW key. Morse code. <laughs> Ever seen one of these before? You take your output, and it shares it out to five of your friends or five of your devices that you all want to play together. So, you take this, shove it into the phones, take this guy, shove it in there, take my headphone jack, I've now got it in there, let me switch this guy over, Okay, good. So I'm feeding the computer correctly now. 
Okay, now we're getting there. We got it. Okay, so now what I have to do, let me show you what I'm looking at. Okay, so this is Coco Modem. This is the noise that I'm receiving. So if I drop the radio all the way down, you see how this just died, and now we're not getting any data. So I'm going to turn this back up. I'm going to back it off a little bit so it's not so loud. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hunt for my radio. I'm going to find a PSK31 channel that's active. And so that's my first step. And I'll show you what that looks like in a second. Okay, let me introduce you to the waterfall. And this is the waterfall. See this vertical line is the part within the frequency band that I'm telling the computer to pay attention to. It's taking what's here and trying to decipher it in, to, in create words. Obviously this is all garbage, so none of this is gonna make any sense. That's because nobody is transmitting on this particular, um, this particular frequency. So this might end up being a momentous fail on my part, but um, this radio came with this two splitter and this one fill. I'm gonna try and put this in the line in, line out, and I'm gonna connect these to the um, record or the input and the output of the computer. Okay, it worked. <laughs> so I, um, this is just crazy popular. 14073, lower sideband, and it's just popping. House copy video, John Co A E D E um, W. That's his. Wow. Hey Jose, thanks for. Coming back. Look at this on uh, my call. To my call. Your RSU 599 59. So some of this is garbage. Okay, so apparently I just needed to use that cable. So again, I'm using the waterfall where it's red. Those are active conversations that are going on on this particular frequency. So I'm getting a. Uh, Looks like you are in my log as digital contact. So there might be a contest going on. QSL OK at QRZ, EQSL, LOTW, and direct. Hope to see you again. We are so beautiful. This connection is amazing. So something is going on. We just happen to be uh, on at the right time. Very cool. So, yeah, guys, understand what I just did here. I threw a line up on a piece of wood, ran it, I don't know, 40 feet or so, into a bedroom, connected it with a Cat5 cable to my little radio here. The radio, through the line in, line out, is connected to my laptop through the remote, through the input and the output, which goes, the input obviously is going to this application, which is deciphering these these contacts, which look, they're just going nuts. Like everybody's talking. So there's one picking up right here. So let's hop over to that one, see what's going on. Yeah, event station. Indiana State Fair. Indiana State Fair? What? Special event station for the Indiana State Fair. So guys, I am receiving them from Indiana right now. That's amazing. That is amazing. I'm not gonna be able to transmit to them. I can, so these radios, these QRP radios are really good at receiving. Um, they're good, they're better at receiving than they are transmitting. W9ISF, special event station for Indiana State Fair. Wow, amazing. I think I'm gonna go get my log book. I'm gonna try and make some contacts today, guys. Okay, so I figured out a way by kind of ham-fisting my way through it to set my, uh, use a key command on the application to turn the radio on to transmit. I've connected the output of my laptop into the mic connector on the radio and I've set it to what's called Vox, voice operated um, talking. So I can basically have the computer jam out the, the signal, it gets transmitted, and then um, I can receive on the, on the input side, which that's what we want. So that's good. Let's see if we can get a contact. I doubt it can. This radio is what they call QRP radio, which means it's really, really low powered, which I mean, you can see the size of it and the little battery here. 
it's not meant to to be a beast which I'll get a nice station one day I will because I'm getting my office and something might just magically appear on the roof that Leia is not gonna know about until she sees it and it's already gonna be too late Wow guys I just got a con I just got a contact from somebody N H I G Wow that's Awesome. I don't know where this guy is. N8IG. <clears throat> there it is. Yeah, he's responding. T E. Oh, he's not getting me. Hi, Josh. Report. Name Paul. Ohio. Dude. Wow. This is a. Ohio, guys. From my five. I'm transmitting at nine watts right now from my nine watt radio with a random wire that I threw up on my in my backyard talking to Ohio. Think about it. Okay, so what did I learn today? Well, one, I learned that this radio is really good at digital. Uh, it's not the most refined way of doing digital modes, PSK modes specifically, but it works, it works great. The problem, that battery, I think I killed that thing, or uh, brought it to the point that I was I was transmitting at half power, which is like four watts. Um, I brought it down to that point in how long have I been doing this? Four hours or so, three or four hours. So that's no about three hours. So that's too fast. That battery is probably too small. So I'm going to start looking at better batteries. Um, other than that, I'm thoroughly impressed by this thing. The, the antenna solution is nice. I mean, it's going to get even better when I get that way up into a tree or if I get it up on a mast that I can, I can hang. Dude, that's, that's big. That's really big. So I am uh, super jazzed, super excited by this, guys. This is, this is cool. Very excited. Okay, so obviously the solution to this problem is to just buy a battery that is 12 amps instead of the 5 amps that I have right now, right? This makes perfect sense to me. This thing's 26 bucks. This basically pays for itself immediately. I've got, I'm taking this to the camp out. It's for the kids, guys. It's for the kids. Well, guys, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pack it in for tonight and I'm gonna kinda get ready for tomorrow. I got some clothes I gotta fold, put away. It sounds so domesticated of me, doesn't it? Anyway, question of the day. What do you think about this, this packet radio? I hope I did a good enough job explaining what it is. Basically, it's, it's using your radio to digitize text in a way that is, God, never mind, I'm making a mess over here. It's a way to digitize text uh, and send out over the radio waves that can be received by others that are listening on the frequency that you're on. Very, very cool stuff. Very cool. Anyway, yeah, uh, post your comments below. If you like this, give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. Well, tomorrow begins the final inspection of our home. I am expecting there to be no problems. Things are amazing. And then we can finally like start putting our lives back together, which I, I have to tell you guys, we, we've we been living fine. Everything's fine. We're, we're just fine. But we have been living in a sort of limbo, like because we can't really do anything. We got people working all over the place and we can't really like make the changes that we need to make. And now we can. And then it, it all begins like, if I thought one year vlogging was going to be amazing, getting this house in order is going to be so awesome because we have so many cool projects ahead. So very excited. Can't wait to show you more. And so we'll talk to you tomorrow. See ya.